Bonjour Nicomac sur euh, The Wrecking Moon. Donc nous allons commencer notre épisode 4. Alors je d'abord une petite chose à dire, c'est que j'ai eu un problème avec l'épisode 3 au niveau de l'audio. Euh, à partir de 5 minutes 48 environ, vous avez euh, uniquement le, jeu, le son du jeu et plus du tout mon commentaire. Donc voilà, j'espère que ça a pas. Euh, j'espère que j'ai pas parlé pendant trop longtemps pendant qu'il se passe à rien. Parce qu'en ce cas-là, vous aurez dû. Peut-être, vous êtes peut-être demandé ce qui se passait. Enfin, en tout cas, c'est ce qui s'est passé. Il n'y avait plus de son là. Donc, euh, je parlais, mais je parlais apparemment dans le vide. Alors, déjà, je parle tout seul devant la, dans la, devant la vidéo là maintenant. Alors, si en plus on m'entend pas, <rire> je vois pas trop l'intérêt. Alors, alors j'ai trouvé quelque chose pendant que je cherchais euh, en off. C'est qu'il y a ce tapis là qui bouge et il y a une clé en dessous. Et la clé, elle ouvre cette porte-là. Voilà, donc, à partir de là, on reprend. Alors. Ok. Alors, on va fouiller. Euh, je sais plus. Alors, si vous avez vu mon let's play sur ce moteur directif, vous avez vu cet endroit. Donc là, évidemment, ça ne fait pas comme... Je l'ai déjà sûrement dit, euh, le Pandora Diaki se passe un an après ce jeu, mmh. pas le contraire, vu que wow. The Pandora Diaki c'est la suite. Alors la porte est fermée, alors je peux trouver une clé. Tiens, truc blanc là. Bah tiens. Ça va être rapide. Oh tiens, qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Alors. Un truc là. Un ballon. Oh lordy. Well, this is where Rusty ended up. What a way to go. I'm willing to bet he didn't crawl in here on his own. Someone murdered him. Alors. D'ailleurs, vous vous rappelez dans euh, Directive Pandora, c'est qu'il y a un euh, ruban de police euh, à l'entrée de la porte. Donc je suppose qu'il va falloir aller voir les flics <rire> un jour ou l'autre pour leur en parler. Alors, euh, ça, ça se prend, je suppose. Ça, ça se prend. Je pense pas qu'il y ait grand chose d'autre. Attendez. Ça, ça va nous servir. Et qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Looks like some kind of in-house television. Hi kids, it's me, Inspector Burns. And as we all know, fire can be our friend, but fire can be our foe. So many times, fire starts so carelessly. And what can fires do Fires burn you. Never, never light matches. No, no, no. Fire is dangerous. Fire made me look like this. Do you want to look like me? No, no, no. Don't look like Inspector Burns. Don't play with matches. <laughs> Inspector Burns. I always thought he was a freak, but the kids love him. So does Ardo. Ooh, a small nozzle. Probably a helium dispenser used for filling balloons. <laughs> Just a couple of empty old packing. Rusty, the clown from hell. No wonder this place went under. Probably scared off all this business. Alors, attendez, il y a une chose qu'on est... On doit faire. Ça. Oh, attendez, je pense que... Ça et ça doivent s'assembler aussi. Euh... C'est quoi cet anneau Alors. Euh... Ok, 
attendez, on va examiner un peu ce qu'on a, qu'est-ce qu'on a récupéré. Euh, ça. Ouais, il rien. Nous y a rien dessus. rings just like this one when I was a little PI. Even has a small hole in it, just like the rings I had. Man, fill one of these with water and you can chuck it a mile. Ok, il faudra remplir d'eau, je suppose, à un moment donné. Euh, que tu <rire> Portable helium. Just undo the knot and breathe deeply. I had a set. I can't get over how lifelike this doll is. If it didn't have a hook on the back and a battery compartment. I'd swear it was Rusty himself. Oh. Les piles, justement. Alors, on en a. Euh, examiné. Ah, a... combiné. Tac, tac. Effectivement, ça marche. Est-ce qu'on est bon Alors, je me rappelle un petit peu de la suite. Sans... Le premier jeu. Enfin, je me rappelle suffisamment, en tout cas. Euh, donc, euh, je sais à peu près ce qu'il faut faire. Il va falloir qu'on aille dans l'entrepôt avec ça. Donc on y va. Par contre, on y va en voyage rapide, ce sera plus rapide justement. Euh, Peut-être pas. Allez, entrepôt. Alors. Il faudrait juste que je le mette là-haut. On va monter. Alors. Toi, je te mets là. Le Rusty Doll looks great on the pulley hook, but I'll need to get it to move before it'll do me any good. Oh, attendez, qu'est-ce qu'il y a derrière Je suppose que ça ouvre ce qui est en bas là. Dans lequel est de gens, c'est trop rien. Là, c'est pas celui Bon, pas celui-là en tout cas. Les heavy footsteps que je vois doivent être flammé. Luckily, my rusty traps all set. I'll need to find a hiding place as close as possible to the pulley control box. When Flem least expects it, I'll throw the pulley lever and bring Rusty back from the dead. Euh, je sais pas. Je suppose que je suis en temps limité, mais je sais pas trop ce qu'il faut que je fasse. À part allumer, mais. Pourquoi je peux pas activer le truc Ouais. Et on fait du bruit, les gars. Eh ben, le mur était pas bien solide. Hein. <rire> ok, bon. Alors ça c'est fait. Alors il a laissé des trucs sur la table. This table and the bottle on it. Attends, euh... Ah bah le bracelet justement. On cherchait. Et euh, la clé. Je crois. La clé. Je suppose qu'elle doit ouvrir ça. Gagné. Alors, il y a une boîte. Euh, je... Peut-être que la clé qu'on a. Peut-être que la clé qu'on a va nous servir. Attendez. Voilà, enfin, on sait au moins à quoi servait cette clé maintenant. Alors, pendant l'épisode 3, j'arrêtais pas de me plaindre euh, sur cette clé que je savais pas à quoi elle servait. Maintenant, je sais. Alors, évidemment, vous m'avez pas entendu, mais. C'est ce que je disais pendant que vous m'entendiez plus. Voilà, donc, alors. 
Je suppose qu'il va falloir rendre le collier à Rook. Attendez, attendez, j'ai pas que ce qu'il y avait dedans. Hmm, what do we have here? Unless I miss my guess, this is Jade. It's good quality too. Ok. Bon bah. On y va alors. On s'en va. I'm telling you, it's impossible. It can't be done. I've tried everything. The prophecy is very clear. We can't go on until this step is completed. Surely your unique skills give you opportunity. My ability has gotten us nowhere. Capricorn got there before me. They're always one step ahead of me. It's like they can read my mind. We can't let them stop us. Maybe we can use your skills on someone else. I've made inquiries. And if he hasn't gotten himself killed, Maybe he's just what we need. Murphy. Tex Murphy. I feel better today than I've felt in a long time. Boy, did I stun Rook when I walked in and handed him that bracelet. Okay, so getting the bracelet back doesn't make me detective of the year, but it does stimulate the confidence glands. Maybe I can succeed at this business and turn my career around. But if I'm going to do that, I better do something about my fax machine. Who knows how many new opportunities I've missed to show the world my greatness. <laughs> Alors, on est le jour 2, et maintenant, je suppose que le magasin électronique est ouvert, et donc on va y aller. Euh... Qu'est-ce que je viens de voir Ah oui. Rien de spécial. Je pense qu'on peut directement sortir... Non, il y a quelque chose par terre. Ah bah oui Ah, my own personal credit card. I'll need this to get in the electronic shop next door. Eh ben, on y va, on est parti. On est parti. This electronic shop outlet has just moved into the neighborhood. I've heard that the manager's name is Ham Underwood. Everyone knows they sell overpriced junk, but it is conveniently located. Hi there, how can I help you? I just came by to welcome you to the neighborhood. My name's Tex. Pleased to meet you. My name's Underwood. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a going away gift for my dog, Reggie. Have you got any chicken bones? Oh, try Fido's Novelty Shop. They have nice doggy gifts. <laughs> what can I help you with? Oh, I just dropped by to check out your store here. Well, feel free to browse. Though, since you're a blue cart member, you'll have to choose from the blue light special items. Well, what are you looking for? Do you have fax machines? Sure do. In fact, there's one older model in the blue light special box. I tried not to stare, but it threw me off when I saw how cross-eyed Ham Underwood is. I'll have to keep in mind that anything he says is on the left is probably on the right. <laughs> Alors, en fait, il est là, le fax. The fax machine's so outdated, it doesn't even have a brand name. And it's better than nothing. 
Alors, le support. The fax machine. Alors, je sais pas si c'est autre chose à acheter. Je crois pas qu'il y en ait tellement, en tout cas pour l'instant. Et je suis pas sûr qu'il y en aura plus tard, mais. Euh, en tout cas, pas ce truc là. C'est quoi ce truc? Now that's interesting. Looks like an alien pineapple. Ça ressemble à rien. Mais... Bon, alors. How's it going? You here to do more shopping? No. I came by to get some information from you. <laughs> I sell gadgets, not information. Feel free to look around, but the only questions I answer are about the merchandise. Bon, d'accord. Bon, je crois que de toute façon, est-ce qu'on voulait Donc on y va. Attendez. J'ai déjà. Attends. Truc à vérifier. Je suis comme ça moi. Je vais aller vérifier la poubelle. <rire> non. Non. Je sais qu'il y a quelque chose à voir dans une des poubelles du coin, mais je sais pas quand exactement. accélérer, enfin mettre le déplacement un peu rapide hein, parce que ça va pas très très vite. Ok, bon y a rien. Alors, on va tout simplement aller au bureau de texte. Je, je arrive sur mon trotto. Bureau de texte, bureau de texte. Allez. Ok. Alors. Non. As soon as I hook up the new fax machine, a fax prints out. Oh, finally. Maybe this is a real case. The kind you get paid for. Alors, je sais pas si les deux you have a fax étaient dus à ce fax. <rire> Mais c'est le même son pour mes messages, donc ça va pas être pratique. Alors, cher monsieur Murphy, celui qui vous a rencontré. Euh, recommandé m'a affirmé que vous étiez un détective très doué, capable de résoudre des affaires délicates avec compétence et discrétion. Un de mes bons amis vous a recommandé et je suis prêt à vous payer très cher pour louer vos services. Je préférais vous expliquer la situation en privé, je ne voudrais pas paraître impertinente, mais le temps presse, venez me voir sans tarder à ma résidence. 1329 Phil Philmore à Pacific Heights. Comtesse euh, Madame Régnier, M. Régnier, je sais pas quoi. Ok. Ouais. Euh non, il n'y a rien d'autre à faire à part aller. Euh... Au manoir de la comtesse. Hop. Countess Rainier. That name smacks of money. Hopefully she doesn't want to hire me to find your lost poodle. As I land my speeder, I see my dream house only bigger. The butler is a tall, thin man about 70. He tells me the Countess is expecting me and shows me into a large, lavishly furnished drawing room. And the Countess Rainier. Please, have a seat. Thank you. You know, I pictured you being, well, older and heavier. No one is born old, Mr. Murphy. Now, shall we discuss our business while we're still young? Oh, by all means. Pardon my interruption. Your services have been recommended to me by a trusted friend who prefers to remain anonymous. Suffice it to say that your unique abilities are what I need right now. Um, which of my unique abilities are you referring to? I'm sure you have many unique abilities. The one I would hire you for is your talent of locating people and things. 
I've been told this talent has made you some friends and many enemies. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, Candace, but wasn't it Roy Rogers who once said, you can't please all the people all the time? Save your homespun humor for a more gullible woman. What I'm asking you to do may make you very unpopular with some people. Uh, exactly how unpopular are we talking here? Let me give you some background information, then you can decide for yourself. Some time ago, a family heirloom was stolen from this bungalow. I do keep most of my valuables on my estate in Europe, but on this visit, I brought the piece to show a friend. Within hours of my arrival, I found it stolen, and I have made extensive inquiries trying to retrieve it, but I found out nothing. Well, I'm sure you have more resources, talking about cash, than I do. You should be able to buy all the information you need. What makes you think that I can help you? Oh, I don't. I remembered what my friend had told me about you after I had exhausted every other option. You know, referring to me as your last option could automatically double my fee. I already planned on paying you much more than your usual fee. I'm a wealthy young woman, Mr. Murphy. To give you an idea, the stolen artifact alone is worth more money than you could earn in ten lifetimes. Oh, we'll see about that when I win the clearinghouse sweepstakes. <laughs> How quaint. Let's not waste any more time. I need some work done, and I'll pay you well for it. Well, in my experience, getting paid well is a relative term. Your obsession with money is appalling. Oh, I have any number of appalling traits, but I am a good P.I. Well, if you prove to be as good as you think you are, I'll pay you a $30,000 finder's fee. Well, let me think about it. Okay, I'll do it. In fact, I'll even mow your lawn at no charge. Try to control yourself, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> I'll expect you to focus all of your energies on this job, and the methods you use to retrieve the artifact are of no interest to me. But as more time elapses, the less likely it is that the item will be found, and for that reason, I must require you to find it and to return it to me within one week. And after that, there will be no finder's fee available to you. Do you pay time and a half after 40 hours? <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. <laughs> I have stated my conditions. As to the artifact itself, it is a beautiful statuette made of crystal and shaped in the form of a bird. It has been in my family for countless generations, and as I said, it is extremely valuable. There are many collectors who would stop at nothing to own it. Whoever stole the statuette would undoubtedly have gone to the black market and offered it to the highest bidder. Hmm, I think I saw that statuette you're talking about. Someone was selling it on the Home Shopping Network. Boy, I had no idea it was so expensive. You make jokes, but you cannot possibly know how rare and valuable the statuette is. And now that you have all the necessary information, we'll end this charming visit. Don't bother contacting me until you have the statuette in your possession. And if you are successful in your search, it could change my opinion of you considerably. My valet will give you a retainer of $1,000 on your way out. Goodbye, Mr. Murphy. I didn't tell the Countess, but I would have done damn near anything for $30,000. Now I've got to find a link to the black market. How hard can it be? <laughs> Alors, par où je commence Pas de question. Alors, je voulais aller au poste de police vite fait pour voir. The guy who robbed those pawn shops turned himself in. Can you believe it? Kept babbling something about a clown coming back from the dead to haunt him. <laughs> Actually, I know all about it. Because I'm the one who put the fear of Rusty in him. Sure, sure you did, Murphy. 
What can I do for you? Hey, Bob. Sorry, Murphy. Can't help you with that. Jeez, Tex, you think I know about everything? <laughs> Sorry, Murphy. Can't help you with that. Jeez, Tex, you think I know about everything? Of course I know the Colonel. Didn't he teach you the business? He's the best P.I. I've ever worked with. No offense. We scratch each other's backs. He's been busy with some case, and I haven't seen him for a few weeks. Some of the cops here at the station joined the crusade. None of them work here anymore. I don't take much stock in religious movements, but it sure turned those guys into fanatics. I've been okay. Little indigestion now and again, but nothing serious. Beak's a real valuable contact on the street, but he doesn't come cheap. He was a wacko who had a kid show on TV years ago. He quit the TV biz and opened a novelty shop somewhere in the mutant section. Word is, he got involved with the illegal novelty trade and got himself killed. He disappeared months ago. Sorry, Murphy. Can't help you with that. Jeez, Tex, you think I know about everything? <laughs> bon, alors. Euh, Peut-être que le. Ah, J'ai oublié son nom encore. Big Nariz, là, par contre. J'ai oublié son nom, là. Il nous aider. Celui avec la trompe d'éléphant, là. That's swell, Beak. Hope you're feeling grateful enough to answer some more questions. Yeah, sure. Anything. I haven't got any info on that. I can't help you there. Okay, that was a bad piece. A bad idea, I mean. No, but there's nothing to do. Uh -huh. I heard that Ardo shuts the place down. Okay. Hey, I heard you took care of Rook. Pretty impressive. Well, thanks. Maybe word will get around and scare up some more work for me. Oh, I'm sure it will. Maybe then you'll have some money and quit mooching off me. Come on, Chelsea. Let me savor my success for a while. Okay, but not for too long. I like to keep you humble. Gee, thanks. So, is there something you came to ask me about? Apparently, it's a real hot item. The top commodities dealer in the city is named Franco Franco. He probably either has the statuette or knows who has it. I don't know how you're going to find him, but if you do, be careful. Eh ben, on a du pot. Euh, je sais pas qu'elle le savait. On va. Je... Peut-être que lui, par contre, il sait. Parce que je vois qui d'autre pourrait poser la question. Si ce n'est la police, mais. I've heard his name in connection with some smuggling and illegal importing. I don't know anymore. Euh, ça va être pas beaucoup. Back again, eh, Murphy? What can I help you with? He's a big time crook. Deals with stolen and illegally imported merchandise, especially Jade. Sorry, Murphy. Bon. Hey, 
Hey, Murphy! <laughs> I haven't got any info on that. Okay. What's going on, Tex? Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. Okay. What now, Murphy? You know, I subscribe to a trade paper called Jewelry Weekly. In the last issue, it seems to me I saw an advertisement by someone named Franco, who was looking to buy Jade. There wasn't anything of interest in the trade paper, so I threw it out. It's probably still in the trash can out back. Big time crook. Deals with a lot of uh, smuggled artifacts and the like. He's pretty well connected with the mob and black market here in San Francisco. Bon, allez, on sort dans l'allée. La poubelle. On va, la, on, on va aller voir la poubelle. Alors. Allez. Collection à privé, recherche objet en jade, paiement en espèces au meilleur prix ou échange. Contactez Franco Franco. Ah là, là en bras, 808, fais le, le là. Ok, d'accord. Alors, je vais sauver un coup et puis je vais m'arrêter là, je crois, parce qu'on a déjà fait hein, pas mal de temps. Ok. Ouais, alors, on s'arrête là et. Euh, donc allez, prise... enfin, je vous dis à l'épisode prochain et euh, merci de votre attention.